In Islam, God doesn't require the blood of either an animal okay. or a human being, okay. innocent or otherwise. Okay. In order for you to be forgiven and to attain salvation, all you require to do is follow what God has told you to do. In other words, keep God's commandments and to follow his uh, example of his Prophet Muhammad sallam, and inshallah you'll be saved. Why are you talking about Christianity instead of Allah? Because you are a Christian. And you were just preaching your religion to these two gentlemen. That's right. But should you not be preaching Muhammad and the love of God through Muhammad? Yes, I will come to that. Why the, is there many religions? The why reason, the reason I was showing you. Why do Muslims have a fanatical interest in Jesus? Fanatical interest? He's our prophet. What are you on about? But you're Jesus is my angry at Christians for what we believe. Wait, wait, wait. When did you see me saying I'm angry with you? You're here, yeah. very, very deep into this stuff of debating Christians. I come here on you're Sunday. You're to show the love of God through being a Muslim. So you're telling me how I should actually give down. It is not up to you to tell me how I should conduct but myself as a Muslim. God gives us children to guardian as a sign of love and guardianship. Yeah, but that's what I'm telling you. In, so in where's your love and where's your guardianship of mankind? In Christianity, there's no love. There's only payment by blood. Because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son. Exactly. And if you confess on that, you shall get saved. You see how? It's very simple see how, do you see how, it's very loving. Do you see how you see that with a smile? A human, very loving. Human sacrifice is something that the pagans used to conduct. Right. In the Old Testament, the priests were trying to get their sin out of their body into lambs. And he said, I'll send you the Lamb of God. So they were trying to live a really holy life and couldn't. And who, who actually commanded them to sacrifice But my question is, why do you no, no, answer the question. try to undo what the Christians believe instead of preach what the Quran teaches? The Quran and God Almighty does not require a sacrifice of a human in order for anyone to be saved. So now, wait, wait, you ask me a question. To let heaven. Heaven. Let I me want answer. to go to heaven. Yes. Please take me. What have I got to say or do? Okay. In order for you. In your belief. Yes, yes. In my belief. Yeah. In order for you to believe. Very simply, like when I say, can I have a white coffee, please? I want to know how to get saved in the Muslim's belief of the Quran. Okay. Shall I give you a If you can explain Shall that Shall I give you a verse from the Quran? The reason I know you can't is because I'm saved and you're not. Okay. So now you have already made a judgment call. It's impossible for you to show me salvation when I already have salvation through my confession on the blood of Jesus. Okay. First and foremost, in Islam, so you ask me a question, allow me to answer that. No problem. Okay. In Islam, God doesn't require the blood of either an animal okay. or a human being, okay. innocent or otherwise. Okay. In order for you to be forgiven and to attain salvation, all you require to do is follow what God has told you to do. In other words, keep God's commandments and to follow his uh, example of his Prophet Muhammad sallam, and inshallah you'll be saved. Now this is what the Quran says in Surah al uh, in, in chapter 41, verse 30, Surah al fasila it says, Indeed, those who have said, Our Lord is Allah, and then remain on a right coast, the angels will descend upon them, saying, Do not fear and do not grieve, but receive good tidings of paradise which you were promised. Now, you see, this is a promise of paradise and the conditions are the reason. I haven't finished yet. Allow me to give me one more minute and I'll wrap it up. Give me one more minute and I'll wrap it up. So Allah has given us a promise of paradise, unlike the Christians. We have been given the promise of paradise. If you have something similar in your Bible, please show us. But I've given you Surah chapter 41, verse 30. In that there is no mention of any blood sacrifice, either that of an animal or... I said, give me a minute. You give me, you give me 10 seconds. I asked you to give me a minute. about the blood when you should be talking about how to save these I just did. Did I not just... No, 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 but no, you know, give brother, you the Quran brother, listen, let, let me just, let me just, yeah, I'm not talking about your religion. Well, you are. You said in no, your religion. Bro. How do you get saved? I'm not disproving. He just said that, did he not? Guys, guy, what's your name? Hashim. Right, Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Listen. What was your question, These by the way? These people you remember your question? need to know the way to heaven, okay? Yeah. Right? By my religion, if I, right? If they said, how do I get to Cockfest? I'd say, get on the Piccadilly line and go that way, right? Yeah. It's very simple, right? So, 
I'm uh, I'm not here debating Muhammad or your belief in your Quran at all. All I'm asking is how do these people that are listening get saved? By what? How do they guarantee that they go to heaven? I just told you. Did you not hear? But it's a hope. It's a hope. Where did you say it was a hope? It's a promise. It's a but promise. conditional. On what? On you believing in the oneness of God without associating any partners Through with the him. Quran. What? Through the Quran and through the Hadith. So I can't believe in any other God? Of course you can't. I have to believe in it. You have to I believe have in to. one God, the true God, the God of Jesus, the God of Muhammad, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses. What did Jesus say when he was on earth? I have to be a Muslim. I have to, what do I have to do? What do I have to wear? What do I have to wear? How you don't do need I to wear to? anything. Is this what you believe I know, in your heart? Like, I know people say I'm a good Muslim, I'm a bad Muslim. I don't know. Are, are all Muslims safe then? God has given you a condition which I've read to you already. If you want, I'll repeat the verse because it looks no, like okay. you probably did not understand it. It just doesn't it. sound like a very good contract. Which, which part of the... Like, you know when you sign up for a mobile, they give you a good deal. And? Unlimited data, unlimited voice, unlimited this, and you get the latest iPhone 10, and it lasts for 24 months, but you must pay this month. Exactly, that's a condition. Right. The payment the is condition. condition. Yes. So, how do we seal the deal in the contract? Okay. I've read the verse to See, you. That's I'll, the difference I'll repeat it again. I'll repeat it again. The verse clearly... is proving Christianity, and I'm asking you to prove Allah. Okay, first and foremost, I'm not only disproving Christianity, just like don't waste your time can I, disproving can I, Jesus. Can I also just teach people how to be saved? Hold on. Can I answer? Does that make sense? Can I answer the way? I think that makes sense. Can I answer the way I want? Because I love all these people and I don't want them to go to hell. And I hope that you can teach them how to get saved. Okay. First and foremost, can I answer? Don't disprove Jesus. I will answer the way I want. I will answer the way Islam teaches. Do you love me? I, I love you. There's nothing wrong okay. with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. Do you checking. love me? Of course I love. What's you. my name? I can't remember. I've got. Well, memory. I remember your name, Jeffrey. But but yours is. Okay. Say so. again. Say again. <laughs> my name is Hashim. Hashim. That's Hashim. That's sorry. It's so what I'm saying is that just like for you, those people who do not believe in Jesus Christ as a savior, they will go to hell. Am I right? No. Well, no? Wait, 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 wait a minute. So no? Slow, slow down sure? a minute. Are you sure? Slow down. Okay. I, I'm not here to bash people with the Bible. And I'm not here to disprove your Quran or disprove Jesus being your prophet. I'm here to respect and love you and honor you guys. That wasn't my question. My question was very I'm simple. I'm giving you my experience. So my personal experience was 25 years of drugs and crime led me to a prison cell where I was 31 stone, about to die, and I was losing my mind in that prison cell. And I was going to hang myself. Right. And, then and I said I didn't believe in, because of all this, I didn't believe in God and I didn't believe in religion. It scared the life out of me. In fact, you know what? It pushed me away because of all the stuff that I see in here. So on the chair about to hang myself, I said the words and I, God only knows why I said it. Jesus helped me. I want to help people. That's all I said. And from that day, I haven't drank. I haven't took drugs. I've been led kind of like I'm being led today to speak and share my truth okay. because the truth sets people free also. So I'm not here to force my belief on anyone. I'm just simply saying to every ear here, you can also call out secretly at home, Jesus is this true? Father is this true? Allah is this true? Is Jesus, is because there's deception here. There's too much to believe in, we're all confused, but whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's my truth. That's all I have. I'm not here to debate Bible scriptures and how many times it was altered and there's 200 versions and then you've got the Quran and you've got Muhammad. It's, it's too much. I'm just telling you my truth. Okay, good. That's the difference. I listen to you without interrupting and I'll expect the same courtesy from you. Is that okay, Jeffrey? Okay. You mentioned a few things in your um, in, in, the, in what you just said now. You mentioned call on the name of Jesus and you also mentioned Allah. Yeah. Yes. And could it be any other God as well, like say Ganesh, the Hindu God? I'm giving you my experience of what I said. That's fine. And what I got. So it's, it's an anecdotal experience. But what I'm saying is that it's my if, personal experience. Yeah, of course. But you see, why did you call upon Jesus in the cell? I don't know. But what I've learned now, six years after, is I've learned that the seed of faith that was given to me as a gift in the womb was activated that day at my desperate hour. Okay. So when you say the so seed of... So if you're going to be saved, yeah. you will be. And if you're not, you won't be, okay. because it's a gift that's given in the womb, a seed of faith. So all the ears that are here, 
my sheep hear my voice. So I believe there's people, I'm not here talking to you. I'm here talking to the people that God wants to talk to. So when they go away, they can also ask, is this true what this man said? Because I want to be saved too. So you're saying from I'm not your here to debate with all your cameras. That's fine. You're this saying, is a lot bigger than all your cameras. Trust me. This the, is their eternal soul. If the cameras were not here. Muslim, non-Muslim, believers, atheists. This is your eternal soul. You need to ask God yourself, one to one, is this true? Because there is a guarantee salvation by confessing on his son. Based There's on a guarantee home. by Based. my experience. Right. So your personal experience. Have you, ever been, you. have you ever been wrong in your life? Have I ever been wrong? Yes. Many times. So could that personal experience of yours be wrong? Never. Why? Because of the transformation that happened. But the transformation can happen to anyone in Look, the world. I'm in Hyde Park. Let me ask. Speaking and trying to teach people, they can also get that salvation Jeffrey, that I got. There are many people who are atheists who do not the believe. The power of God. You see, I let you talk. The power of I God you comes talk. through testimony. Jeffrey, I let you talk. It's only fair you let me. Experience. You give me some chance as well to talk. You're never going to convince people. I didn't ask anyone to be convinced. It's up to them. It's their freedom. That's the freedom right. of choice. Just like That's you right. expect. Just like you expect but them to listen to you. you as a preacher, God knows you intimately from the womb. And he knows you too. He, he knows all of us. Exactly. So let me, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I'm not telling you to be a Christian. I didn't ask you to be a Muslim. Okay? All I'm asking is just like you want people to listen to you. Okay? What does Bibles I, and Qurans have I, to do with the prison cell in one word? I expect you to listen to other people as Jesus, well. Jesus, help me. I want to help people. Yeah, but why, not, why not calling Ganesh? Why only Jesus? Because it came out. I don't know why. It was what was put inside, man. It, it just came out. What was put inside your drink? No, what was put inside me from the womb. Okay, from the womb. Yeah, from the womb. Are your, are your parents Christian by I was pre... No, they're not. Okay, so your, your family is no one Christian in your family? No. Except you? Yes. What are the atheists? I, 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 I'm a Christian now. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus. Are, and your, I, and are I your parents... Follow the I follow the teachings of Jesus. That's fine. Through his Bible. I, through his Bible? Through his Bible. You read the Bible? Through the Mark, Matthew, Luke and John. You read the Bible? I've read the Bible. And I read the Bible as food, okay. as spirit food man should not live on bread alone but by every word that proceeds out the mouth of God okay, so, so I need to read the Bible once I'm born again and receive the Holy Spirit I need to read the Bible as food more than food okay. and I need to read the Quran until salvation That's comes good. in the revelation your, the rapture. your spiritual food is the Bible yes so my spiritual food is the Quran and the Quran and the Bible do not agree in many places for example in the Quran we have the concept of forgiveness without the shedding of any blood. Unfortunately, in the Bible, I don't know if you read this verse, in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, it says there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. So you see, in Christianity, there is human sacrifice. In Islam, there is no human sacrifice to be saved. But why are you picking to pieces the Bible instead of teaching these poor people how to be saved? I'm just telling you, that is the way to be saved. It's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because Allah is love. Yes, he is. That's why he doesn't require human sacrifice. Allah gave, uh, Allah gave you life. He gave you life, Allah or the Father, whichever way you want to call it. He gave you life and he gives you sons and children to bear for Is him. the Father love? Of course he's love. Then why does he require a human sacrifice to be because, saved? Because the priests were trying to cleanse themselves by living by the law of Moses and they they failed miserably. Yeah, and they was killing lambs. And the only way that they, they was trying to get and pray their, their sins into the lambs. So he sent his son as the lamb of God. He sent his atoning sacrifice for all sin once and for all. Why are you blaming the priests? And that's why when he's that was... been made as and seated right, the right hand of God because of his sacrifice, because of his... Jeffrey. He, he, the, the poor man never done anything wrong. Exactly. Why are you blaming and he the priest? Prayed three times. Please take this cup from me. Don't make me have to go through this for these guys. They're nuts. And still his prayer got rejected. He still had to go through. That's how God's loved the world. What, by rejecting his own son's prayers. He turned his back on his son whilst he had to go to the cross to save me from how hell. Is, how is that love when the priest? Because it's love for me, Jeffrey. When the priests who were sacrificing those lambs, they were commanded by the father to sacrifice those lambs. Because they wish, look, it's all played out. This is how he's playing it out. So in all your job is, as a Muslim, is to live a good life, to love people, to feed the sick, to feed homeless people, and to teach people how to get to and, heaven. And to call the people to the true God, not the God of Jesus. other religions. Yes, to call the people to the true You're God. You're more obsessed with disproving other religions. My point is, it's wrong. My point you've is very fallen short. Why would Jesus prove? To those Pharisees, you wake the up true God, every day trying to disprove Jesus. Jeffrey, this is wrong. Jeffrey, this is not you, in. It doesn't you, say this. In have you your got Quran. a problem with listening? 
Because it no. looks like every time I open my mouth, because you want I'm to interrupt. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to these guys. No, but you are talking to me. No, I'm talking to these so guys. So what about you your love? You. you said you love me earlier. I love you. So why don't you I'm listen to me? to the ears that can hear me. And what about these ears who want to hear you? You're meant to teach them how to be saved. Yes, without a human sacrifice. I keep repeating. But it looks so like you your ears are closed. So you you're saved. No, my hope is this, that the so true God... So his hope is you, he don't hopes put words you in my become mouth. a Muslim. Listen, don't put words in my if mouth. If you become a Muslim, hope you're saved. Ma don't put if words you believe in, my mouth. in Jesus, you know you are saved. Can you let me speak without I'm putting sorry, words in my bro. mouth? But I'm going to leave it there. Of course you're going to leave it there because the thing is, your love is a fake love. Okay? I love you. I don't believe in fake love. I believe in the true love. Because the truth. if Jesus was the one who was a true prophet of God, with you, but you then can all ask him on your own. why did Jesus go about preaching to the people? Stay away from the false God. Did he not preach that? Yes. So we want the true preaching of Jesus, of Muhammad, of all the prophets, you see all the prophets and all the messengers, they all advocated one thing. What is that? To believe in the one true God. When Jesus was on earth, you will see in John chapter 17 verse 3, he says, this is eternal life, that they may know you. He's addressing the Father, that they may know you, the only true God. He never claimed to be God. So anyone who says on the, on the day or on, on another day, Lord, Lord, save me in the name of Jesus. What did Jesus say in Matthew 7, 22, 23? That those who call me Lord, Lord, and do not do the work of the Father. Yes, do not believe in the Father. Do not do the will of the Father. Yes, on that day, even if they t t come and tell me that did we not cast out the demons in your name? That means in the name of Jesus. Did we not cure or do miracles in the name of Jesus? Do we not do X, Y, and Z in the name of Jesus? On that day, Jesus will say, I do not know you. Get away from me, you evil doers. Now, why would Jesus go through all this trouble to tell you not to follow the false God, not to worship the false God, if everything was in hunky-dory to believe in every single God in the world? No. There are many false gods, and there are many false prophets, and there are many false messengers. And Jesus has told us in the Bible how to recognize those false prophets. The one who testifies about me, yes, he's not to be the Antichrist. Did Prophet Muhammad sallallahu testify that Jesus was a true messenger and the true prophet and the true Messiah? Yes, he did. That shows that we, the Muslims, are on the right path. In fact, the path that Jesus followed. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He never said, I'm the destination. If he is the way to the destination, then the people who followed him will reach that destination. And the destination is who? The destination is the one true God whom Jesus worshipped, the one he prayed to. The one that he actually honored and glorified during his prayers. And to us, that is the one true God. And this is the God that the Jews have believed in, that the Muslims believe in, and that the Christians believe in, the true Christians. But many of them had actually gone away and started worshipping the very man who told them that I am not good. There is only one good. And who is that? That is God Almighty, the Father. And this is what they used to call God Almighty at that time that he, the Father, is the only true God. Now that terminology has changed. When the Quran came, we do not believe that the Father is something, a title given to God. Because this is how the people, like the Christians, have actually gone astray. They started to now worship the Son and the Father, both of them, claiming that they are somehow one God. No, they are not. Jesus always claimed that there is only one true God. And who that is? According to his own testimony in John 73, that is his God and his father, who is also the God and the father of the Israelites at that time. And that can only be the one true God whom Jesus worshiped. Jesus cannot be God. So please do not fall for someone who gives his own testimony by his own experiences in a prison cell or maybe on the streets or maybe somewhere else. Yes, people have got many things, many good things to say. But the thing is that doesn't mean that that is the way that God wants you to attain salvation. Salvation is always something which is not a mystery. God has made this very clear, either in the Old Testament, in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Psalms, in the Gospels, and all in, in the Quran, everywhere. The salvation is something very clear cut, very way. easy to uh, way, follow. So, yeah, Jazakallah khairan with that. And I think we end with that discussion with that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.